There are many ways to export your iClone 4 projects. Let's take a look at an example of each, starting with Image Export. We want to export a target image to add to one of our business proposals. Notice in my scene I have a character with a pose, so we want to capture this preview window for an image. But we want the background not to be exported as well, since this will be Taga. So let's go to 2D Background and deselect and deactivate the background. Now we are ready to export. So let's click on Export, then click on Image. Then let's go to Image Format and choose Taga as our format. Then let's click on Advanced and change the depth settings to 32 bit. Next, we can use a standardized size for our image, and you can see there are many sizes. If we have a custom size, we can define it here. I will stick to 800 by 600 for this tutorial. Next we choose a render quality. I will leave anti-alias checked on so that the edges of my avatar will not be so jagged. Now we are ready, so press export. Later we can use Photoshop to select the alpha channel of the image we produced in iClone 4 and place it with another image to create a business poster or enhance other images. Let's export our entire video, so click on Video. Again we can choose the output size for our video. Notice we can choose many different formats, including HD. Adjust Pixel Aspect if you know the final presentation will take place on TV and you know the ratio to adjust for, but for our case we won't need to worry about this. Next Render Quality, and I will still leave Anti-Alias checked on for higher quality. Then Output Range, which we can use to choose which segments of the video we wish to output. For example, maybe we only want the first 500 frames and not the last half, so we can adjust here. Notice also that the small triangle on the scrub line has changed to reflect this change we made for our output range. But I will return it back to its original length, because I want the whole scene, not just a segment of it. Next we can choose frames per second. Currently, for every 15 frames there will be one second of film. You can choose this to be higher or lower at your discretion. Then press export. Choose a codec of your choice, name your output, and render. Another popular format to render in is Flash. To render this video format, go back under Video, then under Format, select Flash Video. Then go to Advanced, then we can alter the quality of both video and audio. Adjust to whichever level of quality meets your needs. I will also produce an HTML page so later we can view this video on a web page. Then the rest of the settings are just like for producing an AVI video. So let's go ahead and press Export. Since Flash videos with HTML pages will have a folder of data included, best to export directly into another folder to keep things in order. Now we can open the HTML page and view our Flash movie. Next we can export image sequences that can be used in PowerPoint presentations. Simply go to Image Sequence and under Format, click on Format and choose GIF Animation. But we want the background not to be exported as well, so let's go to 2D Background and deactivate the background. Then choose the output size you desire and range of the sequence just like how we did with other movies. Just press Export and save it in a folder designated for your GIF animation. Then later we can open any PowerPoint and add in the GIF animation to spice any presentation up. Next, we can export image sequences that can be used to enhance videos. Simply go to Image Sequence and under Format, choose Target Sequence. Then choose the output size you desire, the range of the sequence just like how we did with the movies. The difference is that this will render many images all in order depicting the animation frame by frame. Just press Export and save it into a folder designated for your Target Sequence. Then later, we can open up any movie editing software and add in our Taga sequence to enhance our video 
with animated avatar or prop. Widget Output is designed for either Widget Me or Widget Cast to create animated avatars to help enhance widget designs. Outputting a widget is quite similar to other video outputs because you can still select the output size, range, and the render quality. The difference is, is you also have additional settings for video and audio quality. Again, if your widget output is merely for visual enhancement, you can set the video quality high and the audio quality low, then press export and you can use your animated avatar in WidgetCast. And you can use your animated avatar in WidgetCast. Please see WidgetCast to learn more about what you can do with Icon 4 and WidgetCast working together. And that's the basics for how to render an output with Icon 4.